Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101, and today we're doing a January 2020 EDC pocket dump. This one's going to be a little bit different from some of the little past pocket dumps that I've done. Um, as you can see, I have stuff that I did in my last EDC pocket dump, and I'm going to put the card in the video somewhere on the screen. So if you want to watch that to see me going over this, you can, because I don't want to just go over this when I've already done that in, my, in the last EDC that I have. So I'm going to kind of move this off to the side. The one thing that we definitely changed from this year was a lot of people are saying you need to have a flashlight, which having the phone does, but I did. So I did put this little flashlight in you know in my pocket to have so it's good to have it has the three modes so which is good to have some type of a small flashlight so it was one of those things trying to evolve to see do i need a flashlight do i not need one in the end you do need to carry some type of a tactical flashlight to help you out in that situation the next thing what we actually we've done is we actually have upgraded we're not upgraded but we've gone to the glock 27 for the concealed carry instead of the glock 42 so we're actually carrying this now than the glock 42 um i kind of like to move around from the different calibers just to kind of you know make sure that you can move around that's just me but right now i've been carrying my glock 27 with um uh, with two mags and then the holster i actually use is the alien gear um love their products i have you know holster for the glock 42 i also have it for my uh, ruger 38 special uh, plus p um, love their stuff love their products and stuff i have a few of the other stuff so this is kind of what we kind of we run with like on a day-to-day -day basis but the one thing we're actually changing because it actually is winter time okay and what i actually got for christmas this year was something i've been wanting to get from Undertech. that is this is their vest um because in ohio it's actually been very warm lately and i've actually been running this with um, a black hoodie that zips up to kind of have under you know to, so i can kind of wear this in the winter time that if it you know that we are in ohio but just kind of running this just a few times just kind of getting the kinks just what works what doesn't work this has the same thing as their um as their jacket um but i'm not going to really do a product review of this just yet because i'm still trying to get how do i you know run with certain items or if not so but um so far so i i, I like it but i'm going to do a video on this probably with um probably in february because at that time it's been a little over about five to six weeks since i've had this and i want to do a really good honest opinion does this work does this not work um i really like their jacket and that's actually something that we're going to actually talk about now because in ohio it's been in the 40s and 50s and stuff like that i've been running this like i said with just kind of a zip up hoodie underneath this and i really like this as of right now but we actually have is the undertech jacket that i actually have which i've done a video on this jacket and I still love this jacket. I wear it all the time, you know, multiple pockets for you to, you know, as some people said in the last EC, man, you sure carry a lot of stuff. But in hindsight's 2020, this goes back in your back pocket. All this, you know, pretty much goes in a pocket. So your only thing you're putting in your coat is this. So it's really not a stuff. So, you know, but like in anything, and it's anyone carries their stuff, it's what they feel comfortable carrying and stuff like that most of the guns and stuff that's carrying on me but you know but now with it kind of getting winter time with it does has sometimes gotten into 40s and 30s i will definitely wear the coat and then with the coat i actually have the 511 tactical gloves i actually did a a video on these a few i think it was about two years ago three years ago as you can see they definitely have some wear and tear they're breaking but the gloves still work i still don't have any issues when it's cold or you know that so they're still really good they're holding up probably maybe i might be able to get one more two more years out of it but we're just going to have to wait to see what the winter holds for these gloves and the next thing is the shamagan just to kind of keep you warm when it does get cold for you know the winter time but knock on wood in in january you know it's been very warm right now hopefully it sticks that way because i could deal without snow so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to kind of, I'm going to do a part two now of my EDC pocket dump of what I kind of run different from kind of what you see right here. Now, the one thing that I, I kind of will switch up and I've actually been doing a little bit more is actually my Vertex sling bag. 
I'm not going to go through everything that I carry in here. I'm actually going to add this video of what I did in the description so you can kind of see what I have in this bag and what I use it for. Um, but like I said in the other, like I said in that first part, I've been carrying the Glock 27 on me. And then I will also then carry in here in the back a Glock 42 with two additional mags and an extra flashlight. So I kind of always, you know, sometimes I'll carry two guns and a lot of times I will besides carrying one on me. I will have, you know, if I have this bag, I'll carry another one like the Glock 42 or the North American Arms, the Cricket. But this is always right next to me. But I always have some type of a, a firearm with me. So having this with me is, is a different option that I actually uh, will carry just because of the way things have been going in this world. And things have just been kind of real cr crazy. Been hearing a lot more stuff that's happening out in the world. So carrying this, you know, I have some more medical supplies and some other things that could definitely help me in a survival situation you know if there is some type of a of a mass shooting or something having this is definitely something you maybe want to have just because of how crazy things have been but that's pretty much the difference between like this this you know difference between this one and the first one the other one is very minimalistic on very you know small items like probably when i would do from the first one it would probably carry the exact same stuff but then i probably i'm just carrying this with me so that's going to be the difference between you know a and B of my pocket dumps. The B is very minimalistic. I do not carry any first aid versus B. I'm carrying everything in A, but I've also added my Vertex sling bag, you know, with an extra firearm and a lot of medical first aid that you maybe want to have. And also there's other items in there that I'm not going to go through because I've gone through it before. But that's going to be this video. So hopefully you guys appreciate my uh, version of the pocket dump. The last video I did did fantastic. So, you know, share it out. You know, if you guys really like this one too, to really kind of help, I really appreciate it. You know, write in the comments down below what you guys think. Is this too much? Is it not too much? You know, um, I know a lot of people are going to say, you know, good that you're carrying a flashlight now. So, you know, even though I have a flashlight in here, but I wasn't carrying one on personally, but it was just something to try just to see could I do it without the cell phone? So um, having a flashlight is a good thing. But yeah, any comments or questions, write those down below. And if you can, hit that like button. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and we will catch you guys down the road.